So you want to know what the smallest laptop out on the market right now looks like. Lucky for you, I did too and I just picked one up. That's right, a laptop that can actually fit in your pocket. Windows 10, 128 gigabytes of storage on it. It has a graphics card built in. What more can you ask for? We're gonna see what it's all about in today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm doing giveaways, promotion codes all the time. Let's go. Alright guys, so I just picked this thing up yesterday. I downloaded the Steam app so I could put some games on it. This is actually said to be a gaming laptop. You just can't run anything that's really graphic heavy. That's probably not gonna work, but if you have like a smaller game, you can play that. You could hook this thing up with Bluetooth headphones. I'm gonna show you what comes in the package and I'm gonna show you guys what I was able to do playing with this thing. So opening up the box, you'll see right here, you have your power brick and this is actually a USB-C type. It's not a regular USB insert, which most of them are. And then you have this cable that has two Type-C USB plugs on it. So you just plug that into the power brick and the other end goes into the laptop. Now this is the mini GPD laptop. On the side here, you have a Type-C USB port. You have a micro USB port, headphones jack, and a USB port. On the bottom here, you have a little speaker, four little rubber feet, opens up just like this and Look at that, that's really, really beautiful looking. Here you have a seven inch screen and this is also 1080p with 330 PPI and this is also a touch screen. You can touch the screen and open up apps or open up folders and it's running Windows 10 on it. It fits right in your pocket, super small. It comes with a warranty, which is in the manual, so don't throw out the manual. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on right now. And then I was actually greeted with Cortana, which was nice. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. That sounds great. So after setting it up and doing the basic installation stuff, I went ahead and plugged in a USB dongle. This would allow me to use a mouse, which makes it super easy. And then also, if you are not used to typing on the smaller keyboard, you can use a wireless keyboard as well with the dongle. And this is playing through Bluetooth. That's actually the sound coming out of the headphones. Now, if I unplug that wireless mouse and keyboard, I could actually plug in a gamepad into this, which is really cool. This is like the Xbox 360 style uh, game controller. And check this out. Now, I tried to run Steam. This is the game Deadlight running on an Unreal Engine. Now, this game lagged a little bit. It had a hard time playing. Uh, I guess the graphics were too heavy. I even turned the graphics down to the lowest setting. And this game was having a little bit of a hard time, probably due to like the lights and the shadows and the rendering. However, all the old school SNES games that I love, the ones that I grew up with, I was able to play those easily. Now I own all these cartridges in real life, so I was able to get the downloaded ROMs, and uh, these are basically backups. There are some legal technicalities with that, but you are able to get ROMs and emulators on your computer if you really have the desire to. Now this laptop gets up to 12 hours of battery life, which is incredible, but depending on what kind of program you're running, you might get a little bit less than 12, like if you're running movies or games or something like that. This is Hulu, just playing a little bit of anime to show you guys some of the colors and how clear it looks. This is awesome. I could take this on the go with me anywhere, watch my favorite shows. I got 128 gigabytes of storage, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything I need. I could hook up a mouse. I am one happy camper. Look at the clarity, 1080p picture, baby. All right, so there you guys have it. That is the GPD smallest laptop out on the market right now. This thing is awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. I like the fact that I can take Windows wherever I go. You wanna play some lower end video games that don't have high graphics? You wanna watch Netflix on the go? You guys remember those portable DVD players back in the days, like when you had to put the CD in it? Well, this is almost like a little mini portable DVD player, except you could hook it up to Wi-Fi, watch Netflix, YouTube, any kind of streaming video service, Hulu, whatever it is that you want, and you could just have your movie right here, your Bluetooth headphones, you could hook it up to a Bluetooth speaker, the only downfall that I will say is I would have loved it if it could handle really heavy graphic games. That would be awesome. If I could play like a Call of Duty on this thing or Grand Theft Auto 5, that would be cool. But you can't really expect that much 
from such a little tiny laptop. So if you need a laptop maybe just to pass some time, play some smaller games on, if you need a laptop to watch videos, this has a lot of possibilities. I think it's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Check out the link down below. It'll bring you to Gearbest. They have like a flash sale going on. Smallest laptop out right now. What can I say? I am so happy that I got my hands on this thing and I will be bringing this all over the place with me. I am working on projects constantly. This is my new toy. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you stick around. I got more videos coming soon. And until next time, my name's Casey Nolan. You know what we gotta do, right? Peace. I run this shit, they like go for us. Run for us, run for us, go for us. Damn, what's one more quote for us? I go zero to one and real quick. Real quick, whole squad on that real shit.